today's spooky spot, we're having a look at the Soda Toys Now Playing Presents Series 3 Meg Mucklebones, which comes to us actually from the movie Legend, which also comes to us from uh, one of Spot's favorite movies of all time. I love Legend. Tim Curry is awesome. This is the Swamp... Oof, she's quite scary in this movie. The Swamp Witch. Some, she's some sort of hag that lives out in the swamp. Tom Cruise confronts her along the way. But now she comes to us in figure form, comes to us from the good folks at Soda Toys. Very gross looking figure. On the back, however, other figures that you can get from Series 3, we've got Dune, Dog Soldiers, of course Legend, the Thing box set, which would have been a nice set to get, and also a mega scale pumpkin head available. Series 4 was coming soon. Unfortunately, Series 4 never happened. Never happened, my friends. Some figures that we have sadly been lost, forever forgotten in the scope of time. We would have had a Leprechaun figure, which I really would have enjoyed. A Reanimator, Jeepers Creepers 2, Creeper, and Tremors. Oh, just, think, just think how wonderful that would have been. You can, though relive the other previous releases from Soda Toys by going to www.sodatoys.com A lone tear sheds from Spot's eyes down his face as he thinks about the toys that we could have gotten. Maybe a moment of silence is required for the fallen toys of Series 4. Take it all in guys, take it all in. Okay, what we what I am going to do is take a terrifying break. I'm going to get this opened up, and certainly when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Meg Mucklebones. More terrifying review to come. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Meg Mucklebones, unfortunately, is a bit of an awkward figure. You can see that she's really awkwardly posed. Legs kind of bent a little straight there. Uh, to get her really to stand, not so much. Really not feeling it. Um, she does have a base. She has a display base right here. A little pond, slime pond, swamp going on there. Really nice. I mean, nice detail there. You'll see that there's holes there. We'll get into that in a second. Let's put that aside. Let's first have a look actually at her face. What a grotesque looking face. A little did you know. Did you know who played Meg Mucklebones in Legend? Anybody? Anybody? Robert Picardo. Yes. The holographic doctor from Voyager. The coach from Wonder Years who was dressed as Santa Claus. Yeah. Totally, totally. Meg Mucklebones. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? Ugh, Meg Mucklebones was quite grotesque in that movie. As you can see, the figure itself looks pretty good. It looks a lot like Meg Mucklebones from the movie. I don't know if it was intentional, but Soda Toys has given her a gloss paint job, not only in her hair, but also in her body. Giving her that little extra bit of slime. Makes her look as if the body is wet, like she's just emerged from the swamp. She's got some conveniently placed swamp vines. Unfortunately, speaking of swamp vines, she does also come with two others right here. Um, if you look at the back of the packaging, the back of the packaging actually shows her entire arms just draped in swamp vines. And she's got swamp vines coming down the front, all down her arms. Uh, she only comes with two. So you, I guess you could put one on either arm if you wanted to. Like so. Not as dramatic, though, as, as I would say in the, on the back of the package. Uh, you can see that she's got a hump. Pretty nicely sculpted there as well. Uh, again, though, she is a very tall, tall figure. Now this is where actually comes into play the holes in the base. 
What you're actually going to want to do, as you can see, she does stand awkwardly. The legs, the individual feet are posable. You can rotate the legs back and forth, the feet. But what you want to gonna, what you're going to want to do though, is you're going to want to take the feet completely off. Take the feet completely off, like so. Then what you basically are stuck with is a stumped figure. Then that's where you're going to want to take the figure and take the figure's legs and submerge it in the swamp base. It's one of the only few times I've ever seen a figure where you actually have to remove limbs to incorporate it to the base. It works. It definitely gives a good idea, a good you know, I, I, idea that, that it, it is, she's actually submerged in the water, she's walking through the swamp. I like that. I like that quite a bit. And for how awkwardly she is uh, posed, um, I could probably even just do without these feet altogether and just have her displayed as you see right here. I think having her in the water like this really does, it really looks decent. Really looks decent indeed. Let's just take her out of the swamp for a second. Let's put that down. In the way of Meg Mucklebone's articulation, why she does have a rotation in the head. Moves up and down as well, left and right. She has this weird pin and socket in the shoulder area where the arms do rotate back and forth. But the way that they're hinged, they hinge on an angle. So you can kind of have her where she's looking at the reflection off, off of the shield. I think Tom Cruise has a shield and the reflection is what she cannot look at. If I'm looking at that right. Or I think she is looking at her face or something like that and that's how he gets her. But uh, you can get this really neat, uh, you know, shrieked, repulsed look in her, in, in her pose. Um, she does also have a rotation in the hands, which helps as well. And finally, a rotation in the waist. Um, everything else is pre-sculpted. You're not going to get any movement out of her. But uh, overall, it's a nice figure. It is a really, really nice figure. Um, I don't know if necessarily I would say it's recommended for anybody because it's, it's again, a bit of a scary-looking design. But uh, certainly fitting for a spooky spot. Let's put her back in her base, like so. I think Meg Mucklebones, old Robert Picardo here, I'm going to give her a very terrifying 8.5 down below there. She's a really nice figure. She's done really, really well. And the fact that she's pre-posed is not that big of a deal because you can get her incorporated in with the base. And I like that quite a bit. So if you see her, I would say worth picking up. Today's spooky spot, we're having a look at the Soda Toys Now Playing Presents Series 3, we're looking at the Legends Witch, Meg Mucklebones. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Woo!